All right. Thanks, Charles. We, we used to say at my last company, uh, do a demo, lose a customer. That's, uh, uh, so we'll, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how we do from here on out. But uh, th thank you very much for having us. Thank you for accommodating this. Um, we've been coming here for, well, first forever. Uh, and I just looked it up. This is, uh, it's been over a year since I've been coming to these meetups, which is, is just crazy. Um, we, we met basically half our team here uh, at SGBR. So this uh, organization has been tremendously good to us. Uh, and so we wanted to give back by showing you guys stuff uh, for the first time. You guys are the first people literally in the world to see any of the stuff we're going to show you tonight. Um, we're excited about it. Uh, hopefully you think it's okay too. Uh, so, <laughs> we get the next slide. Um, so uh, who are we? Uh, so we, as I said, we've been coming here for about a, a year. We've been uh, around for a little longer than that, kind of operating uh, relatively quietly. Um, we changed that today. Uh, we announced, uh, uh, we raised a little over $5 million from, uh, thank you. From, uh, from all these logos here. Um, <laughs> some, some exciting folks. We get the, some of the original backers of Oculus, the Formation A and Google Ventures, uh, you've heard of them, the Dolby family. Um, they're pretty good too. So, uh, and, and almost all that time that we've been coming here, we've actually had a, a, a demo that we've been showing people that um, basically nobody in this room has seen. Um, and, uh, you know, we showed it to all these folks, they were excited about it, um, and I'm, I'm really, really psyched that uh, what we're going to show you today is, is actually our product, and it's way better than that. Um, so, uh, but before we get to that, I want to talk a little bit about what our product is, what our company is, what it is what we do. Um, and there, there's basically three things uh, that matter about our product, about, our, about what we're trying to do. Um, uh, and the first one is interesting, they're all kind of, kind of inspired, inspired a little bit by these meetups. Um, uh, you know, why do we come into this cramped room that's like 105 degrees uh, and, and, and sweat and stand and be uncomfortable? We come here because we feel like we're here together, right? We're, we have this intimate connection that we're feeling. We, we, we're here and it's emotional, right? We're here together sharing this experience. We, we feel connected socially. We could watch this on a live stream. This will be on YouTube somewhere, right? You could watch this later when you go home. But instead you come here because you want to feel like you're here with other people. And the first part of our product takes advantage of that. There's, there's really no other medium uh, that can make you feel like this. And, you know, a phone call, uh, a video chat, you don't make eye contact. But in VR, you can actually start to feel like you're there with other people. And so a cornerstone of, of, of our product, and we think of all the great experiences in VR that are going to come, is this, this feeling of connection. Like you're here with other people, like you're, like you're emotionally connected there. So that's the first thing that matters about what we're doing. But uh, once you're there, what are you going to do? Um, uh, we, we are here together because we're experiencing all these demos, we're experiencing these presentations, we have a shared experience around this content that we're consuming. And so the, the thing that we're doing at Allspace to create these shared experiences and the thing that we think will give you the most content, the most potential shared experiences in the, in the shortest amount of time is bringing the 2D web into these shared virtual spaces. So allowing us to get together uh, in, in VR to feel connected socially but then to share 2D things from the web. And we're doing that by building a browser into a game engine. There's lots of technical reasons why we're, things that we're about that what we're doing. But what matters is that we're creating shared experiences around 2D content from the web. And it gives you a wealth of things you can do together. We can watch movies together. We can watch sports together. Things that you do, the real world analog, you do together with other people. What online you do alone, we're allowing you to do with other people online. And so creating shared experiences is the second thing that we're doing. Um, I'm going to talk about a third thing later, but uh, first I want to show you the product because that's way more interesting. Um, and there's nobody better in the world to show you the product than our own cinematic Bruce. So, Bruce, please. Uh, so, I'm going to talk. Uh, please don't laugh while I talk to myself with the riff down. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to give you a tour of what Altspace is. Uh, so here we go. All right. Mouse. Great. So this is uh, one of the first spaces or the first space that we built in alt space, it's called the high rise. Uh, and in each space that we're building, this is a quite big space, it's the attention to be social. Uh, so there are places where you can go uh, that are intended for different types of activities. Uh, clearly you see a big screen there with the couch intended to be kind of a social watching area. Uh, there's a table over there, I'm just gonna point 
I, I hope you see what I'm pointing at. Um, and, uh, we can have some games over there, uh, up there as an office. We'll talk about that a little later. There's a balcony outside. We're going to take a tour. Uh, but first, before we tour, how do you move around in alt space? We've had lots of discussions about this, about locomotion in VR. It's an unsolved problem still, but we're starting uh, by putting everything on the mouse. Uh, and that's the, uh, the first step. So uh, we can totally use this mouse here. I can uh, press the middle scroll wheel to start walking forward. Uh, and I look, wherever I look, I walk. Uh, actually, these mice have uh, mouse button three and four for horizontal scroll, uh, and I can kind of tilt the scroll wheel to do kind of a comfort mode uh, slice of turn there. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with that. I can use the uh, regular click. Uh, you see I have a mouse pointer that's all around that uh, kind of adheres to the surfaces of spaces, which is great, uh, or uh, of assets. Uh, and I can hold it down. I get a little preview of where I'm going to teleport. So I want to be in front of the screen. Bam! Yeah. I want to go over there. Oh, that's cool by the fire. That's nice. Um, I want to go down there. Check out the skyline. It's very San Francisco-y day. Uh, so here we go. I have my office space. This is kind of an area where you can just kind of sit and chill. Uh, and I can bring up my web browser. And it's my personal display. And I have three of them. Uh, so uh, these are all active web pages, kind of our home page here. So over here, uh, I'm going to put some work up, find out what I'm supposed to be doing uh, in Trello. Uh, of course, the initial tracking, I can go in on that if I need to uh, read something that's a little small print. Over here, uh, I'm going to look busy. I'm going to put CNN up because I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> and over here, uh, I'm going to start a game, of course. Um, so <laughs> that's the biggest screen and needs all my attention. Um, so this, all what you're seeing is simply uh, a web browser uh, that's in action uh, in three different places uh, within VR. Uh, so I have a kind of a uh, virtual desktop for, uh, for work or play, uh, which is pretty neat. All right, all right. Uh, as you can see, the transparency from HTML5 or CSS transfers over to this environment and actually looks pretty cool and uh, oh. gives me kind of a fake 3D effect here uh, from this uh, display, which is pretty neat. Uh, but uh, that's not all. So one of the cool things about that personal display is only I can see it as a user. Uh, let me go ahead and, and go over here. But uh, everyone can see the display that's up there. And uh, so what we have to move things to a public display where everyone can see is what we call beaming. Uh, so I can go ahead and uh, open a page. Say I want everyone to see, we're going to talk about what the uh, Trello roadmap is. I click on the little beaming icon there, and now that immediately pops up on the public display, the big screen. Uh, so everyone can see what's, what's going on there. Uh, so we have pretty much covered what you can do by yourself in Altspace. There's uh, lots of possibilities. Everything that the 2D web offers, we're bringing it into a virtual environment and let you experience uh, what's, what's there. But, uh, of course, a big part of what we're doing is connect. Uh, we want to connect with other people, and you see, I am alone. Um, so that's not good. So let's go to a, uh, a different space altogether, yes? Uh, we can press this icon, and uh, we're going to go and meet some friends. Awesome. Uh, so right here is a, another uh, one of our areas uh, called the Tea Garden. Uh, and it has a giant outdoor personal display uh, and looks like I've walked in uh, in the middle of someone watching a video of uh, this video of this dude you might know. Um, and one of the key things we have uh, in alt spaces is synchronization. So when you walk in uh, into a new space, you're seeing the YouTube video at the same spot as everyone else in the room is seeing it. So when that timely joke happens, everyone can laugh at the same time. Um, so that's kind of an important thing to make sure I have this on, I believe I do. Uh, and I see some other alt spacers there. Uh, let's teleport over them and, uh, and see. We have some placeover av avatars here and uh, take a look. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, hey what's up? Uh, who, who am I talking to here? Well, you can see him on the big screen behind you. And uh, the guy in green, you know him. That would be Reverend Kyle. What's Hello, up? Hello, Bruce. How are you? Reporting from Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> What's up, Kyle? How's it going, man? Not bad, not bad. Just hanging out here with my buddy Mark. Thanks. Mark, you're what? Colorado? I'm in Colorado, and uh, 
a friend of Bruce. He's been out to my, uh, uh, we have the Colorado Oculus Rift meetup. We meet once a month, and Bruce has joined us a couple of times. And Reverend Kyle will join us in the future. Uh, on Skype, unfortunately, since we're in Colorado. But I'm telling you, that Colorado is beautiful. You should come out. We have real mountains here. <laughs> awesome. That's all I'm talking about. I look forward to that. Yep. We, uh, we're just sitting here watching a uh, cooking show. Uh, <laughs> the person here is showing us how to make some some uh, get up. I'm sorry, man, dude. Uh, this has to go, bro. This has to go. I'm not watching the cooking show, man. I'm not watching the cooking show. You know what? You know what? I, I want to. Um, let's let's see what's on Twitch right now. Let's see. Let's see what's on Twitch. All right. Oh no, that's the whole page. I've made an error. Twitch, I said. Twitch. 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 What's up? Hello, computer. <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, some of, there we go. Oh, it's starting up. Here we go. Um, so what we have is, uh, you know, we can enjoy a conversation. You know, it's at social part. I can look Mark in the eye. He can look me in the eye. She's really great at holding on to life, please. And now it does sound very big. Oh, so you know, Street Fighter happening. Let's see, it's a screen louder if I get close. Wow. <laughs> oh god, turn it off! Jesus! <laughs> Alright, very good. Um, All right, guys, I'm going to go back to the high rise, uh, but feel free to chill out here. Uh, we're going to have demos, and you'll be able to talk to the crowd as they demo this. Um, uh, but there's going to be one more thing we're going to show off, so I'll head out. So see you guys later. See ya. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. Um, actually, to discuss the last uh, major feature of Vault Space, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn it back over to Eric. There's one kind of really common conversation that I, I feel like I've had about a thousand times in this room, uh, which is you meet somebody and they're really excited about virtual reality. Okay, I, I really want to be a part of this. I want to find a way to build things for VR. Uh, and you say, okay, what are you going to do about that? Well, I'm you know, not a game developer by trade, so I'm learning Unity or Unreal nights and weekends. I'm trying to find a way to learn those tools so I can create uh, experiences, so I can create stuff for virtual reality. Meet him again in a couple months, and you check in and you say, hey, how's that going, uh, that, that app that you're working on? Well, you know, it's, it, it turns out it's a little harder than I thought to learn all the lighting and rendering and, and shaders and all the stuff that goes along with game uh, creation. And so I scaled it back a little bit. I'm going to build a lemo, le one level, uh, you know, something a little, little, little shorter. And you check in a couple months, and that you say, how's it going? Well, you know, I, I just scaled it back again, and it's, it's a demo, and it's about 90 seconds long. And I'm really excited about it. Um, which is a shame, right? I mean, because everybody's so excited about what they're doing here, and so enthusiastic about this industry. Uh, and it shouldn't be so hard to create things. And so uh, we, we think there's a little bit of a different way. Uh, and so I'm going to ask that maybe Bruce show us while I, while I talk about it, how, how we think uh, we can build things for VR. And this is uh, actually first glimpse at our API. So lots of firsts today. Uh, and so I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, the Allspace API. So I'm going to talk you through what's happening here as Bruce does it. So he pulled up his personal display again. You see he's got a bunch of uh, links up there he can click. And he's going to click that one of the, uh, the planets up there. Um, and so what's loading right here, which you'll see in a second, is, uh, okay, this is a 3JS scene. We talked about 3JS earlier. Uh, uh, this is a 3JS scene of uh, objects floating around the sun, okay, so planets floating, uh, orbiting the sun. You can see it's happening in 3D, things are moving around. It's all happening in that browser window, though, okay? So uh, 3JS JavaScript running in a browser right now. So, but if Bruce turns around, he closes the personal display, what he'll see is he sees those planets uh, in VR, okay? And so what, let me walk you through exactly what happened there, okay? So you've got JavaScript running in a browser, okay, you've got our API, You've got a slight change to the code that we'll talk about in a second. And then you've got that exact same scene in virtual reality. That slight change to the code is the inclusion of our library and six characters. They happen to be ALT, ALT. So if we had a shorter name, it would be less than six characters. But you're, you're rendering exactly that scene in VR, uh, starting from the existing web app, starting from the existing JavaScript app, with minimal changes. Okay. 
So, and then this can be collaborative, right? You can be together in those scenes and you can create experiences around it. So we're saying, okay, don't worry about learning all these new tools. Is he chasing Earth around again? <laughs> uh, don't learn those new tools. You don't need to learn those new tools. Start from existing code bases, Start from, existing code bases from tools you already know, from web tools you already know, and create VR happening inside a collaborative environment. So this is a first taste of our API, and we'd love to show you this a little bit later. Uh, I, would, I would be remiss if I did not say that uh, uh, I did basically none of this. The team here at Altspace, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal job. So if you please help me uh, give them a round of applause. <laughs> and uh, it, so uh, my favorite part of these sessions is always the demos. So come ask us questions in the demos. Let's just get right to it. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, skip the Q&A, come on over, and, and we can have personal conversations while you're checking it out. So let's go, let's go right to that, okay? <laughs>